here we have a 2019 19 plate Mercedes Benz A35 AMG Premium Plus. So I would get our four superb 19 inch alloy wheels in black with the red brake calipers just hiding behind there. We have LED headlights, we have canards on the side, and we also have a black front splitter. Now we also have the chrome front badge with brushed metal front grille. And there's a quick look at another alloy wheel. Now I do have a panoramic sunroof as well as black wing mirrors, black window trim. We also have privacy glass on the rear, Team Hecker wind deflectors front and back, and we also have that back strip on the side skirt just there. And there's a quick look at another alloy wheel. Now this vehicle does come with front and rear parking sensors and rear reversing camera as well as that aggressive rear spoiler and rear diffuser which is flush with the dual exhaust. Now I've head into the boot of the car, we do have a nice spacious size boot with storage hooks on the left and on the right hand side. Popping the boot back down, there's a closer look of that rear boot spoiler. But we also have vents on either side of the rear bumper. There you go. Now this vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches and does look absolutely superb from every angle. And there's a quick look at another alloy wheel. Head into the back of the car, we do have half leather and half suede interior with ISO fix points. We also have pull down leather armrest with two nice size cup holders. For extra storage room, the rear seats do fold down. Now we also have the optional extra red seat belts, which is a nice addition to this vehicle. As you can see, it does look absolutely superb. We have storage nets behind the driver and passenger seat. As well, we have vents in the centre. Storage just down here with two USB-C ports to charge your mobile devices. Now, we also have integrated premium Burmese sound system, as well as a half suede and half leather trim. Electric windows, brush metal handle. We also have the red stitching just there. Heading into the front of the car, there's a quick look. Let's see Echo wind deflectors. We also have the drivers, half suede and half leather seat, which is extremely comfortable, again, with the red seat belt just there. Now the, front, the two front seats also heated, electric and memory. We have, also have electric power phone and mirrors, electric windows, suede and leather trim again, with the red stitching, and again, premium integrated Burmese sound system. Jumping inside the car, just down there, we do have auto lights as well as an electric brake, handbrake. Now we do have a ghost immobiliser on this vehicle, so I'm going to put the camera on the steering wheel just like that while I put the code in. So it won't be too long, and then the radio turns on as soon as I turn the car on. Any second now, there we go, and now I can start the vehicle. As you can see, this vehicle is free from any worn lights on the dash and it's done just over 14,430 miles. Now we do have the full digital dash, where the right hand side thumb pad controls the right hand side, and then the left controls the screen in the centre. Now we do have a full multifunction steering wheel, cruise control and speed limiter just there, and again the touch pads on either side. We also have paddle shift if we stick the car into manual mode. Now on the digital dash you, do, you can change a lot of different functions, so going across the stars and displays you can change the look of the screens in front of you. So we have classic, we go back to stars and displays, and we have the sport that was just in, and we have a super sport, which looks just like that. Back onto home, scroll across, and we have understated, which is a nice, clean, futuristic look. And then I'm going to pop it back into sport, as that is my preferred look. Now we can change the look of these dials, so we can have just the revs, or you can have the revs and the tyre pressure, we can have boost and the horsepower and newton meters of torque that you're currently using, drive mode, and then we have the g-force, so going around corners, the MPG, and we have satellite navigation, and then we have the distance of the car in front of you, then you can change the left hand side as well so going across you can have all these different settings just there now if we pop it back into home we go up to heads up display we do have heads up display in this vehicle which you can also change a lot of the different settings so you can have it looking any different way 
that you prefer. So whatever suits your preferences best, I prefer this one. Now we do have satellite navigation in the center. We also have Bluetooth uh, DAB radio, so it's Bluetooth media connectivity, and also USB. And then we also have telephone connectivity, just there. Now we do have the vents just here with ambient lighting in them just there. If I go up close, I'm going to turn the heat so it's a bit warmer. See the vents that go red and do it cooler. The vents then turn blue, which is a nice little feature to this vehicle. Now we do have the dual zone climate control, which you control just down here and is displayed just at the bottom of the screen, just there. Open this up, we do have two nice size cup holders with storage just there. And we also have a USB connectivity just there, which is USB-C. This is what you use to control everything that happens on the screen. We have your driving mode select. We have loads of different moods. We have Sport Plus, Sport, Comfort, Individual, and also Slippery. Now, Slippery does reduce the power of the vehicle, so it is more easy to handle in those slippery, icy conditions. If I pop the car into reverse, you do have front and rear parking sensors with rear reversing camera you can have normal you can have a wider look or you can have them the parking look just there as well now you do have the parking aid just there as well now if we go into the car settings you can look at these where we have lane keep assist then we have the parktronic and obviously the hud which is heads up display which is just there which i'm going to leave on now coming down here, we have we can put the car into manual mode by clicking this. Then you can use the panel shift to then change through the gears. Put that back on. We also have the track control button just there. Soft touch lever arm for storage in there as well. And there's a look at the passengers half suede and half leather front seat. Now the passenger seat is also heated, electric, and memory, and again works just as you would expect it to. Now back to the centre. If we go up into the lights just there you can also change the color of the ambient lighting where we have a load of different colors to choose from we have all these just here it is all dependent on your preferences now if we go into seat comfort we also have the seat kinetics just there as well for the two front seat front seats and we also have all these different settings as well we also have voice commands, so if you say Mercedes, it then will go on and you'll be able to search for different things just there. And then we also have the Mercedes Meet and Apps where you can set up things just there as well. Now, this vehicle is available to take away today with free contactless nationwide next day delivery. It's HBI Clear, comes with fresh service, and we do have competitive flow finance. Thank you very much for watching. Video test drive of this Mercedes Benz A35 AMG 4 Matic Premium Plus. Now, the purpose of this video test drive is to show that the vehicle drives as it should. So, as you can see, I'm not fighting with the steering wheel to keep it in a straight line. Now, we do have cruise control, and cruise control and speed limiter on the right hand side of the multifunction steering wheel. To activate, simply push up on the cruise control stop or the dial, and use the dial to go up. Choose miles per hour. So currently I'm at 47, push up very slightly, we'll go up to 48, push up into a further click, and it'll just turn near is 5 miles an hour, so it's at 50. To cancel, simply press the brake or just press cancel on the multi-function steering wheel. Now I'm at the roundabout, I'm gonna take a left as you would if you're driving this vehicle today. Now we can use the paddle shift to take over, so I'm gonna do that now. So I'm currently in third, up to fourth, into fifth. take back over by just leaving it or I can press the M button just down here I just press twice and it'll go back into drive now I do have the full digital dash just there as it goes all the way across as well we have the ambient lighting all along in the vehicle so the vents are currently blue if you put the because it's cold if you put the temperature up to say 22 23 degrees it'll then start to turn red which is a good nice little feature now I do have very comfortable half leather and half suede seats, which you can easily do two, three, even 400 miles in this vehicle, still get out feeling fresh. And for those cold winter mornings, 
we do have heated seats, which really does make all the difference. Now again, with the ambient lighting, we do have the ambient lighting that goes across there, as well as across the dash just there and behind the digital dash as well. Now we do have as well as DAB radio, as well as satellite navigation. You can also have the satellite navigation as well as being in the centre in front of you on the little dial as well. Now here at RS Car Sales, we do do nationwide, nationwide, nationwide contactless free delivery. So anywhere in the country, we will be able to deliver to you. But right now, I'm going up to the industrial site, I'm going to take a right, I'm going to perform an emergency stop, put it straight into reverse, just show you that the brakes work as they should, and so the front and rear parking sensors and rear reversing camera. So coming up now, hard onto the brakes, straight into reverse, no issues whatsoever. You can see the rear reversing camera just there, as well as the front and rear parking sensors. Now I do have very big front brakes on this vehicle, so stopping is light work and it does stop exactly how you'd expect it to. Now if you haven't answered all of your questions in a test drive and walk around video, please feel free to get in contact with the sales team where they can book an appointment for you to view or test drive your selected vehicle. But that's it from me, so thank you very much for watching.